episode 161. To see the children. How could Mason relax after seeing her there? He decisively followed her and was ready to walk her home. Summer sighed. Such a warm man. There really aren't many left. However, she didn't want to say anything to him. She went straight to the hotel where the children were staying. In her opinion, that man just wanted to be a hero. She didn't need him to save her. She had sent a message to Rita earlier, so when she arrived at the entrance of the hotel, she saw her children. Mommy! Ava's voice seemed to attract the attention of everyone in the hotel lobby. The little girl's short legs moved at the speed of light as she rushed into her mother's arms and was lifted up from the floor. Although Henry was also very excited, he was clearly calmer than Ava. He walked over to Summer with his arms crossed, trying his best to suppress his emotions. Ava wrapped her arms around Summer's neck and kissed her on the cheek a few times before cuddling her. Summer grinned. Only her children could make her so happy. Ava noticed how aloof her brother was. She pushed his back and told him to hug mom. Henry smiled and gave a gesture of hugging. In his heart, however, he was happy. No matter how precocious he was, he was still a child, and the look in his eyes revealed what he was really thinking. Summer hugged her daughter and smiled at her son. She felt like a winner. Let's go. Rita's arm was broken, so she couldn't use it, but the bruises on her face looked better and not as swollen as before. Mason had still been following Summer. He stopped and looked at her from a distance. She was hugging a little girl and a boy. For a moment, he felt speechless. He thought that she only had one child. He didn't expect her to have two. The little boy looked a bit familiar. But Mason didn't want to disturb Summer as she was meeting with her family. Who's that man over there? Rita raised her chin and pointed at the person standing at the door. Is it Mom's boyfriend? Is it our new father? After hearing what Ava and Henry said, Summer couldn't help but laugh. No matter what, with these two little kids around, she would always be exceptionally happy. Of course not. He's Mom's colleague. You shouldn't talk like that. Summer didn't know what to say. What was going on in their minds? As they all walked inside, Rita locked the door carefully. What's happened to you during the past few days? Did Jane do anything to hurt you? When you go home alone after work, you've got to be careful. That woman is not nice. Rita had been very worried about Summer. If she hadn't been taking care of the children, she would have already wanted to help her. Don't worry. I'm really fine, Summer said. She took Rita's hand and sat down. Then, she started to talk about Peter. Sometimes, I feel really guilty. Why am I so entangled with him? What's wrong? Rita frowned, a little confused. Summer knew that her children were listening, and she wasn't sure how much she could tell Rita about her situation. I told you that Peter is my new neighbor. He bought three apartments next to mine, so he's my only neighbor on that floor now. When she thought about this, she felt a bit depressed. Peter's actions had restricted her freedom. Chairman Dawson has put in a lot of effort just to chase you. Rita made a mocking face. Summer didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Forget about it. He's too busy to play with me. Mommy, who's Chairman Dawson? Is he my dad? Ava asked, and she looked at her mother. Summer had never mentioned Peter's name in front of her children before, and Ava's question made her nervous. No, Ava, he's your mom's new neighbor. He's a big bad guy, and he always wants to bully her, so you have to stay far away from him, okay? Rita felt that she had to tell the children... Please don't talk about him, Summer said, and interrupted Rita. 
She still didn't want to talk about Peter in front of the children, especially because she knew that Henry looked like him. Mommy has already found a new school for you. You can go to school next week. However, Summer was still very busy, so Rita would have to take care of the children. Mommy, can we make new friends? Summer talked with her children for a long time. Then, she put them to bed and watched their peaceful sleeping faces. She was very gentle with her children and her friends. Summer, you have to be careful. If that doesn't work, then we'll run far away and never come back. Nothing is as important as your safety. Understand? Rita had to keep saying that to her over and over again.